Hello, my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses, and welcome to your love reading. So today we're going to see what is coming towards you in love. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. If any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything or to make a donation to the channel, all info on how to do so is in the description box below, okay? So this is for my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses. Let's see what is coming towards you guys in love. Let's see. For my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses. Okay, everyone's getting this today. We have the breakup. It's a separation, heartache, and freedom. What's going on? So for some of you, you could be um, experiencing a breakup right now. Okay, I feel like for some of you, you feel free. You know, maybe you just felt trapped in this relationship, in this marriage for a very long time. You're like, finally, I'm just going to separate myself. It's the right thing to do, and you feel really good. For others of you, um, you may be experiencing a heartache right now. This could be the other person, okay? Um, but let's just see. Okay, yeah, it says the single and ready to mingle. Um, casual dating, new love, and exchanging numbers. So for some of you, I feel like you want to break free from somebody. You want to be single. Um, and it is what it is. Okay? But we have the breakup. So let's just see what's going on. Okay. Um, we have the reflection, which says self-love, introspection, and mirroring. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the long distance lovers, love from afar, longing and travel. And then we do have the reconciliation. So for some of you, you could be dealing with someone that's at an actual distance. If not, there's just distance between you and this person. I do feel like there's someone that you are in separation with from that is really feeling the breakup. Okay, I feel like this person is watching you. They're also looking in the mirror and taking accountability of, um, you know, they're taking accountability. They are recognizing why you guys are no longer together. So this could be you or this could be another person. But I feel like somebody here is really going within. So yeah, there's a, there's a, you could be dealing with a fire sign because that was like the theme for today. Okay. So I'm hearing like, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Uh, 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 to change his ways so yeah you could be looking in the man at the mirror you're saying you know what i really need to fix up or i need to change when it comes to building relationships with people when it comes to this person so maybe this person has taught you a very valuable lesson or you have learned a very valuable lesson when it comes to commitments and partnerships or with this person um taurus but there is somebody here that um you know they're longing to kind of be with you they, they do want to reconcile here. I also feel like maybe you reflect, you reflect this person's behavior back to them. So it's almost like giving someone a taste of their own medicine. So it's kind of like, wow, like now I understand what you were saying or now I understand why it's not okay for me to behave like this. Okay. Yeah. But also with the mirroring, it could mean that you both are feeling the breakup. You're both longing for one another. Okay, let's just see. I feel like someone feels like you are out of reach or out of touch. Um, but like I said, for some of you, because every time I get that breakup card, I always think about someone feeling free and the other person kind of feeling a bit lost. It's almost like, you know, like lost in space here, okay? But like I said, the feeling could be mutual. So can we just have one card, please? And thank you, Alamein. For my beautiful Taurians and Tauruses. Okay, I just want one card, honestly. Don't you hate when that happens if you're a reader? Don't you hate that? I know some readers, are, they, they take all the cards that come out. I don't like that. I just want to focus on, you know what I mean, one energy. Oh, so complicated. Yeah, it just complicates everything, you know what I mean? But oh, so complicated. Yeah, so uh, this is on top of the breakup. So it's almost like I'm hearing like, oh, why did you break up with so-and-so? You're just like, oh, you know what, it's just complicated. I just feel like it's just, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very complicated. So you're just like, you know what? I just can't be with you because I just don't understand you. I just don't understand what's happening here. I just don't understand why you have to complicate the situation. Like, why can't we just be in love? Like, why do you always have to be on some up, down, in and out, yes, no, back and forth, side to side, all around, and all the way down, all the way up? Like, you know what I mean? Why? So, you know... I just feel like something or someone is just complicated. Now, somebody may feel like, um, somebody may want to be with you, but they think it's, 
too complicated to try and reconcile, especially if you're at a distance. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe for some of you, this is a long distance relationship and you just kind of was like, you know what, it's just, you're too far away. But you know, that's, that's nothing a plane ticket can't solve, darling. I'm just saying, that's long distance relationships is not for the, the weak minded, you know, because I believe that love is like a mental thing. So if you have a mental strong connection with someone, it doesn't matter where they are in the world. But obviously when you meet someone in real life, you know, there's a saying that says, um, come see me, come live with me. Like it's just sometimes somebody's a completely different person, darling, you know, but either way, that could have been what the complication was. Okay. But you know, if you really want something, you can make it work. Yeah, also oh, tempting. Someone's like, listen, you know. I feel like someone is tempted to recover or restore the connection because they feel like you are oh so special with the reflection card. So this is what somebody is reflecting on. Like you're, it's almost like I'm just hearing like I've been around the world and I literally have not found anybody like you. Like, you know, like if, if you say you're dealing with someone that's long distance, you could have like a hundred people in front of you. It's just like, I love the person that is fucking 55,000 miles away than the people that are like two seconds away from me. Like, what is that saying? Saying there's some love here, darling. Okay, oh, so kinky is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, well, what's happening here? So somebody could be longing for you in like a very kinky way. Maybe they're having some kind of sexual thoughts. Maybe somebody here is a bit taboo as well. Maybe that's why they're complicated. Maybe somebody's into kind of like some dark things. And you're just like, you know what? At first, I thought the whole demon thing was like kind of cute. But now I'm just like, you know what? This is something's just not right here. <laughs> because here's this for Taurus, right? Your opposite sign is Scorpio. They're very occultic. I know that occultic stuff is like demonology and all that type of shit, right? So you you might have thought it was like quite mysterious, you know. But then after a while, you're like, you know what? I don't really know about all of this. <laughs> you're like, I don't know, you know. Like, I don't really. I mean, I mean. Really, <laughs> you know what second thoughts darling you know i thought i was attracted to the dark side but you know what i mean it's okay darling it's okay okay <laughs> oh honestly sorry sorry guys i got the giggles one second because it just reminded me of like you know like Like, you just didn't know. You're just like, you know, I thought I knew, but I just didn't know. But now I know. Like, I'm I'm good. Thank you very much. Like. <laughs> okay. All right. Honestly, I'm so sorry, Doris. Woo. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Please can't find the breakup. Okay. <laughs> together honestly i'm so sorry Woo! all right let me calm myself down my beautiful taurians and tauruses honestly now there you are taurus you're like oh, don't worry i'll be patient with you so we have the seven of wealth here the seven of pentacles okay so yeah i kind of feel like you're okay you're blossoming in your garden you know see all those seeds that she's planting and she can pick them at any time you're enjoying the process so i feel like you're fine when it comes to the breakup yeah, the universe, okay, is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there was like a cycle that had to happen here, okay? The universe, I'm getting something about universal law. Maybe somebody wasn't supporting you, okay? Your energy is here hot, heavy, okay? But I see that you're doing really well now. Maybe somebody is reflecting on how patient you are. Like someone feels like they should have invested in you, okay? Um, someone kind of feels like you are from the stars, you are from the ethers, because we have, you know, the long distance lovers, they're in space. And this card is to symbolize, you know, our love transcends through time and space, <laughs> you know. But, you know, you're just blossoming right now. Someone can see that you are like a beautiful investment. You know, it's almost like someone's like watching you in your garden and you're just, you're doing okay. I feel like when it comes to the breakup, I feel like you're doing fine, Taurus. You are the creative energy. You know, you are the, the divine feminine. You are the empress. So I feel like you're blossoming fine without somebody here. Because, yeah, I feel like somebody was too complicated for you. And you're just a sign of, like, peace. 
So you're just like, you know what? This situation is too complicated. You're too complicated. I feel like as well, you know, like you could be dealing with someone that's like, they're complicated, but they try to project that energy onto you and they make you, you're just like, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not the fucking warmonger, darling. That's your energy. That's not my energy. Let's just start there. You know what I mean? Because you're coming up strong in your reading. So maybe you may be the person that initiates this breakup. Because you're like this. Oh, three of swords at the bottom of the deck and the moon, darling. Yeah, so you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Libra. Now, it could have been that like because of the third, you know, party situation. Maybe you kind of just felt like somebody just was lying about something. Or maybe somebody's always breaking your heart. And you're just like, I'm tired of crying. Um, You know what I mean? I'm tired of the secrets. Yeah, I'm tired of the mysteries. That's what I was saying. It's like you were attracted to the mysteries and the dark side. And you're just like, you know what? Upon reflection, I don't know about all of that, you know. Well, when you see someone's secrets, you're just like, okay, is this really somebody like I want to be entertaining? Or Because, you know, you could be a ride or die, but... It's like dating a monster. It's like, you know, you can love a monster, they can even love you back, but it doesn't change their nature. Like, they're still a monster. One day, they may just look at you and they see you as food. They see you as a target. Your, your partner is, like, loving on you one day. The next day, they want to fucking kill you. You're just like, well, what, what, what's going on? You know what I mean? It's that person's nature to behave like that. You can't control them, okay? But I feel like somebody is, like, secretly kind of looking at you. They're secretly watching you. I feel like this person cries a lot at nighttime or they think about you, yeah, Heavy Libra energy here, but like you're there kind of like just doing your thing, Taurus. You're fine, but somebody else is not fine at all, okay? They have deep emotions. I just heard deep psychological issues as well. Someone's going through some really deep pain or they're just really longing for you. Like they really are. But yeah, with the oh so kinky and the moon with the three of swords, like, I don't know, somebody could be like a bit sadistic here. I don't even know where I'm getting this from, but this is what I'm like feeling. All right, let's clarify the... um. Should I use the set? Let me use the sexy deck actually because this these have got some bit kinky cards in here. Let's clarify the moon, please. Well, that was really quick. We have the knight of swords here. See, look, look what's going on in this card, darling. Okay. Maybe somebody was like secretly attacking you, or maybe that's this is what this person is reflecting on. It's like, like I said, somebody is a bit sadistic here. It's like they enjoy hurting you. And you're just like, I don't want to keep going through the hurt and the pain anymore. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. I don't know if someone's got some type of fetish or something, but I feel like somebody's still very much attracted to you. They want to have a, a another chance with you with the Ace of Wands there. Also, um, you know, somebody could have stepped out on the relationship. And that really broke your heart. But if that's the case, I feel like you're going to move on to a new passionate beginning with someone else. Um, if this is like someone longing for you, I feel like they are going to take action. Okay, because they can see like, you know, Taurus energy, you're just not moving for nobody. You're just like, well, you know what? Well, you're going to talk to me or you're, you're not. Either way, life still goes on, darling. So I don't feel like it's up to you to make the move here, Taurus. Unless obviously you're the person that's in the wrong. You know, just say it however... Put, put yourself wherever it fits um you are so sexy you make me nervous yeah someone else just got this i think it was leo so you could have leo placements but yeah somebody's very attracted to you like i said so i feel like somebody wants to approach you it's almost like somebody here looks to me like they're kind of like an emotional wreck right now and i feel like they don't want you to see them like this like somebody wants to come when they have their confidence back yeah that's when somebody wants to come towards you when they have their confidence back maybe somebody you know they want to get their coins together or something like that but somebody wants um somebody also does i feel like somebody doesn't want you so okay yeah, someone can't get their words together. Somebody doesn't want you to see them um, break down, basically. Okay? They want to compose themselves, or this could be you. And every time I see the Knight of Swords, I always get, like, the one that got away type energy. But it's almost like you're making somebody your bitch here, because, you know, look what's going on here. Like, maybe the tables have turned, so you could be dealing with a... I would say a Cancer, a Gemini. Someone could be a Gemini moon. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Taurus, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I, I love you so fucking much. So this is what this person is hiding from you, that they have a lot of love for you. And I want you to be mine forever. So somebody really wants to be with you, Taurus. So the breakup is really... um. 
weighing heavy on someone. But I feel like they have a lot of kinky or, or taboo secrets. Something this person is hiding. I feel like they know that if they tell you, it's going to break your heart. But it's like, well, we're not together anyway. So, you know. But, like, I'm seeing this many different ways. So you can take it however it resonates for you. But I do see, like, a reconnection here. But it's either there's going to be a breakup and then a separation. And one person's going to be happy. The other person's just going to be, like, you know, the one that got away with the Knight of Wands type energy. And they're just going to be forced to just reflect and just long for you. Or you're already in separation and somebody's going to break down and reach out to you. Because the Three of Swords could be somebody, like, just breaking down and like fuck it let me just let me just say what i have to say there's the mic you know they want to speak well that's not really a mic that's supposed to be like a sex toy or something but it looks like a mic to me okay yeah because they've been thinking about this for a lot yeah there's something that this person is like a lie look, look at this the justice okay someone could definitely have um strong libra placements here someone could be like a triple libra heavy libra placements this could be you or somebody could be a um Aquarius also. All right, so let's just see what this person wants to say. So my beautiful Torians and Tauruses. I'm inspired by you. So someone finds you very inspiring. I feel like someone can see that you are handling yourself well. And you know, you you inspire this person, I feel like to do better. I feel like you inspire somebody to be a better person. Sorry, too many cards keep coming out all at once and i want to get to know you so somebody wants to get to know you all over again and um, i want to trust you yeah i feel like that's what it is i thought like the trust has been broken here or maybe somebody has trust issues but it, i feel like the only way you you know there's a um saying that goes um it's my favorite saying i used to have it on my insta right um and it goes Speak the truth and speak it ever, cost it what it will. He who hides the wrong he did does the wrong thing still. Okay? So I feel like if you want to gain somebody's trust, you have to speak your truth. You know, you are the hierophant energy. So somebody has to be honest and respectful towards you. It's like, do you understand the energy that you're dealing with, darling? No. And we have, I feel oh so aroused, oh so filled with lust. I want to tempt, touch, taste, and thrust. Okay, who just, who got, I, think, I feel like you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Someone has Leo placements. Somebody here, I feel like somebody is fiending for you, okay? Someone's having some kinky thoughts about you. I feel like someone wants you so bad that they cry. I'm getting like someone like pleasuring themselves to you and then crying afterwards because they can't have you. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I wish I could pleasure you, but I can't. So I'm going to pleasure myself because you're so fucking sexy. And then I'm going to sit down and cry at the fact that I, I've lost you or that I can't touch you because you're so far away. That's kind of what I'm getting. And I feel also in love. My heart is so full. The chemistry strong. I feel a constant pull. Yeah. Someone wants you, they love you, someone's about to break down, okay? Or someone is already breaking down, darling. They can't hide the way that they feel about you anymore, okay? I don't know what happened here, but, you know? But anyway, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the read, and please not hesitate to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Sorry, one second, guys. I just broke my bracelet there. Bye.